This is Buffalo Gals from Mark O'Connor's Violin Method. Please make a beautiful bow hold. Bend your thumb and curve your pinky. And then put your feet apart and relax your knees. Posture is so important. Put your violin on your shoulder. Make a beautiful, soft, fairly floating there left hand posture. And your helicopters and your tunnel. And nice high violin. Loose your, loosen your knees again just to make sure. Okay, this piece starts up bow. Be sure that you listen to the recording of Mr. O'Connor playing and read about this, read about the songs. So it starts up bow. Now that might be tricky, starting up bow. So of course you have to do it again. Please be careful that you have a wonderful left hand posture and beautiful smooth bowing. Good bow hold. Here's the next part. you have your notes and you've worked on each section many, many times. Oh, I forgot to say, every time I say your turn, be sure to do it so many times that you sound like me by the end. When you sound like me, then you know you're ready to go on to the next part. So here is the first, here's the A section all joined up, starting from the beginning. Actually, I'm just going to go back without the first note, and here's the repeat. twice, and now we go to the B section. So again, we're starting with only third finger, which could be disastrous if you're not careful. You could end up like this. Oh no! So set your third finger very carefully with three helicopters and a soft, soft thumb. Hear that interesting rhythm? Here it is again, and again, your turn, and here's the second part of the B section. This is tricky to go to your third finger quickly. So you might have to practice bar 12 and go like this. One. Two. Up till 50. Yay! Why not? You get so good at it. So here's the repeat of the B section going to the end. Have fun learning this piece.